Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna go through the Unit 1 Part 2 study guide that covers GCF and LCM word problems, um, dividing fractions and the models and the distributive property. So here we go. We're gonna find the GCF. So remember, greatest common factor. So we are going, whoops, let me undo that. We're gonna find the factors of 12 and 42. So remember, it's the numbers that multiply together to get that. So one and 12, two and six, three and four. One and 42, two and 21, three and 14, six and seven. So six is our GCF, is six. Here we go, LCM, least common multiple. So let's do our multiples, 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 8, 8, 16, 24. And once you hit one, you don't need to keep going. So our LCM is 24. At the school store, pencils come in packs of five and erasers come in packs of four. Asia wants to purchase the same number of pencils and erasers. What is the smallest number of pencils and erasers she can buy? How many packs of pencils will she need to purchase? How many packs of erasers will she need to purchase? So this one is going to be LCM because you're matching and it's the smallest amount. So here we go. 5, 5, 10, 15, 20. And then four is four, eight, 12, 16, 20. LCM is 20, so it's 20 pencils and erasers. That's total, you want 20 total erasers and 20 total pencils. So let's calculate how many packs we need. So if the pencils come in packs of five, we need one, two, three, four packs of pencils. And then packs of four, one, two, or sets of four, one, two, three, four, five packs of erasers. Okay, make sure you've got all that filled in. Pause it if you need to. So Jake has three cakes left over from a party. He cuts them into fourths to share. If each person gets one fourth of a cake, how many people did he share? We're gonna do the model and the equation. So we're starting with three full cakes, dividing it into fourths. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my model, drawing three, that's not a very pretty cake. Three full cakes, dividing it into fourths. And you get the whole thing. Okay, let's see how many fours there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it is twelve people. And let's check the algorithm, the algorithm to double check. So our common denominator is going to be 4. So times 4, times 4, 3 times 4 is 12. Divide the numerators, and that's 12 over 1, which is 12 people. Okay, make sure your answers get the same. So now we're going to draw a model for distributed property and write the equivalent expression. I'm going to start by writing the equivalent expression because I think that's easiest to start with. I like drawing the lines between the two parts so I remember to go to both parts. So it's 3 times 2 plus 3 times 4. Here's our equivalent expression. So our two, watch the symbol in the middle, it is a plus sign. So we're going to have 3 going down, 2 across plus three down and four across. So three by four. And yes, you need the plus sign in between. Marvin is making treat bags. He wants to make identical treat bags, 36 Starburst, 45 Hershey's. What is the largest number of people that can receive the bags? How many Starburst, how many Hershey's? So. It is going to be GCF, identical, putting them into groups, 36 and 45, 1 and 36, 
2 and 18, 3 and 12, 4 and 9, 6 and 6, 1 and 45, 3 and 15, 5 and 9. GCF is 9, so it is 9 people, or 9 bags. 9 people can get a bag. Okay, so how many Starbursts? Well, what you do is you look at the number across from it. So it's going to be 4 Starbursts. and five Hershey Kisses. Okay, nine bags or nine people can get bags, four Starbursts, five Hershey Kisses. So this one I did not erase earlier, so let me erase it real quick, whoopsies. So Caroline has three-fourths of a pizza. She wants to give a, each friend one-eighth of a pizza. How many friends can she share with? Here we go. Three-fourths divided by one-eighth. Common denominator of eight, one-eighth. So times two and times two. Six divided by one is just six. How many friends? Six friends. Okay. Miss McCall is making her daughter some dresses. Each dress uses one half of a yard. She has two and one fourth yard, two and one fourth divided by one and one half. Remember, you got a cartwheel around on these. So four times two is eight plus one is nine fourths divided by one half. Common denominator of four. So times two and times two, nine over two goes in four times, one left over, so it's four and one half dresses. So yes, I want you to keep that one half because you that's exactly how many dresses you could make. So here we go, circle if it is true or false and then explain it, this one is false. The reason is they forgot to multiply both parts, so it should be nine times 11. And yes, that dot means multiply, remember. Nine times 11 plus nine times three. They forgot to times it by three, so you need to write that in your explanation. So this next one, four fifths cups of milk. The recipe calls for one half cup per batch. How many batches can she make? So it's four fifths divided by one half. Common denominator of 10, so times two, times two, that's eight, times five, times five. So it's eight over five. Eight in the house, goes in one time, four left over, nope, three left over. So it is one and three fifths batches. Okay, so let's draw our model of eight tenths. Shading in eight of them. Putting them groups of five. That's one group. There's three out of the five, so it's one and three fifths. You got the same thing. For 36 and 48, use the GCF to write it with the distributive property. So we have 36 and 48, one and 36. 2 and 18, 3 and 12, 4 and 9, 6 and 6, 1 and 48, 2 and 24, 3 and 16, 4 and 12, and 6 and 8. GCF is 12, so 12 comes on the outside. And then remember the factor that goes with it's on the inside. So it's 3 plus 4. It is addition here, so it's addition here. And we can always double check. 12 times 3 is 36, 12 times 4 is 48. So <coughs> 12 parentheses, 3 plus 4. Um, the key will be uploaded if you need it as well, and I hope you have a great night.